This video is published by mbkpinternational.com. In this video, we're going to talk about our guillotine EC19 Pro electric paper cutter. This video could also be for the EC19M. Um, it, we're going to change the blade and the cut pad in this video. So, um, first thing you're going to do is um, it's usually it's a lot easier if you take this, not necessarily take the crown off, but loosen the sides. You've got two screws on the side here, one, two, and two on the other side. And um, there is a, a lip on the back of this crown where the, in the back, this one we took it off for a different video, but it's got a plastic shield. You'll see your rear plastic shield. It's on the top of this lip on, this, on the back of this crown. So you gotta slide that plastic shield back about an inch. So get your plastic shield slid back about an inch to be able to remove this, or lift this crown up. So I got the screws already removed and that there's no plastic shield on this one, but yours would have plastic shield, move it back an inch. And basically just gonna lift it up a little bit mainly on this right side and just hook the crown behind behind these um, bolts here because we just basically need a little more room in here you don't have to remove it if you want you remove the whole thing but you don't have to but i just found it's better just to put it behind right behind these bolts here okay um, next thing we're going to do i'm going to drop the the blade a little bit because there is a uh, 10 millimeter bolt behind there just to be able to access it as soon as it, just push your two cut buttons, the clamp will go down. As the second you see the the blade starting to drop, you can just release them because it, it'll drop about an inch for you and you have access to that. Remove this um, 10 millimeter with your 10 millimeter hex or T wrench, or if you got a 10 millimeter socket, that would work as well. So, and then we're just going to bring the blade back up. One thing you could have, I could have did before I removed that, but it's still fine with this. Is you got these three um, holes on the top of this, um, on the top of the blade holder. There's one right there. This is a two and a half millimeter hex wrench. One right there, one right there, and one right there. And you just want to make sure they're all snug tight. They're basically adjustment screws, and they push down on the top of this blade. And you want to make sure they're all, all fairly snug tight. Because if they're loose, and then you put the blade in, you might put it up higher than the, the one that was in before. So make sure they're snug tight against the top of the blade. That way you know when you put your new blade in, it'll go in the exact same place as long as you lift it up all the way. So all three are snug tight. Next thing I'm going to do is um, remove the um, bolts, the two 10 millimeter with, with the slots in them right there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now with my 10 millimeter reach. We're going to pause this. Okay, I got those on two removed. I'm going to put these, um, these are your blade change lollipops. I'm just going to put them in where those um, bolts used to be. About three or four turns each. Make sure they're in there. Maybe five. Okay, and now we're going to remove the rest of the screws. We'll, we'll save the center one for last. And I'm going to go ahead and do that now. We can pause it. Okay, I got all the 10 millimeter bolts removed except for the center one. I put these in three or four turns each. I'm gonna, you're going to need another person because you're going to have someone holding these, just light up pressure, and why somebody removes that final center 10 millimeter bolt. Okay, and now I got light up pressure here. I'm just going to let this drop down slowly. If you need to wiggle it to help it come out, you can do that. Just come on down. And once it's down all the way, once it clears it completely, it sh both sides should be behind these two plates. Just go to the left with it, slowly, you know, within about an inch off the, off the bottom there. And then once the right side clears, you can bring it out and then up and completely out, just like so. Now this is not a t table where I would do it. I'd, I'd take this to a workbench somewhere, making sure your screws are in here good. You just don't want to put them in so far that they come out the back side. And, that was four or five turns, and there's, I could have did probably six turns, but let's just pretend this is a workbench here. I'm going to sit this down on the workbench. I'm going to remove these. You can see it's, it's, it's the second hole over from each end. Just remove these. Get your new blade. Put these into your new blade, the second hole over. So I'm just going to assume I did that. I changed it out. I got the new blade. I put these into the new blade. Got rid, discarded the old blade. And I put these in, and now we're just going to reverse the process. We're going to come back with the new blade. We're going to start by going into the left side first. And when I clear this um, right side, I can bring it in. And I can line it up to these slots here, these blade holders to the slots. And I'm going to raise it on up in here. And then we're going to have a person put the bolt in. Go ahead and pause it for now.
and snug it tight for me because I'm okay. Mm -hmm. Go on. Okay, go. Um, go ahead and tighten that in the center one. Always keep up pressure on this. Make sure it's all the way up. Wiggle it. Make sure it's all the way up while you're, keeping, while you're putting up pressure. Then have someone snug tight this center one here. Okay, and then you can let go of that if you got snug tight. And, you're, and now we're just going to start by putting the rest of them in. Go ahead and pause it. Okay, I just hand started all these. Once you get them hand started, you can go ahead and tight, snug them, just lightly snug them all to do it. And go do, ahead and do that. And then once you get them all lightly, like that, the cinnamon's pretty tight. Just go back and forth on them, just make sure they're all nice and snug tight. Well, maybe a little bit more than even snug tight. And um, we'll go ahead and um, I got all those in. I'm gonna go ahead and um, re remove these. And we're gonna go ahead and put the the bolts into those. Go ahead and pause it. Okay, went ahead and put the rest of the bolts in, tighten them up. I'm gonna drop this down another inch to get that one last bolt. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. You can go ahead and pause it. Yeah, went ahead and got that one in, tighten it down. It's important for that all of them be all the blade um, bolts be tight, but especially this one here and this one here, because when you're doing a cut motion, they go behind these plates, and if they're sticking out a little bit, they'll catch this plate and, and bend it, break off, and, and cause some serious damage to your machine. So they need to be fully seated where where they don't catch on this plate when it goes behind the plate, and that one don't catch when it goes that. But again, it's important for all of them to be tight, but especially the two end ones. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and reverse it back to the top. Okay, that's pretty much it for the, for the blade. We can drop this down. But I want to show changing the cut pad as well, or at least rotating it to a new side. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And um, all of that is just bringing this this thing up here. And probably let me um, get a screwdriver here. Go ahead and pause it. Some some are tighter than others. Sometimes you can just pull it off your hand if you can't. You can just get a screwdriver and put it in between this plate and just twist, go back and forth to each side. Now I'd recommend on this to go ahead and before I remove this, I'm going to unplug the the cutter from power. Because anytime you get into this here in this electronics compartment, there is wires down there. You want to make sure there's no power on this machine. Turning it off is not good enough. You have to unplug it from power. Because there, even when you turn it off, there's still power running through it. Let's remove that. And basically, it's your cut pad right here. And we're going to go ahead and um, loosen these four. I think it's five millimeter hex. And go ahead and pause it. Okay, I went ahead and loosened them to about a half a turn each. If you can't, just come over to the side and you usually can pull it out here. If you can't, loosen them another quarter. Just use them a little, loosen them a little bit at a time until you get out. No more than you need to loosen it because if you loosen it too much, this bar will become loose and it can fall down to a different position. This is where your, where your um, table comes in and slides into it. So if it drops down, your table is going to be dropped down and not, it doesn't work as well. But so, and just take this out slowly. And if it's, and then you just either rotate it to a new side. There's four sides of this, so a nice clean side where there's no cut mark in it. Either rotate it to a new side, or you um, replace it if you've already used all four sides. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this back in where it was because it wasn't used much. You want to make sure it slid all the way over to the left, pushed up against there. Make sure you want, to make sure it's all the way pushed down to where the paper slides over it good. This one's wanting to bounce just a little bit, so I'm gonna hold it down there as I, as I tighten this down. And I'll go and just go back and forth, make sure they're all really nice and tight. Go ahead and pause it. Okay, I got those all, all tight. The blade's nice and flat in there. You can feel that the paper would not hit it. And I'm just going to put this tail back on and just slide it back into place. You should be able to get in there and just pop it into place with your palm of your hands. Just make sure it's flush up against this. And you just got to make sure this is not higher than the pad because then the, the paper could hit it there. So it's got to be either flush with the pad or just a hair below it. So that one's good. And there's one other thing I want to talk about this is if your blade is um, needs to be adjusted as far as the height, if it's not cutting through the last few sheets of paper, or if it's cutting through on this side, not that side, there's adjustments for that. And I'm going to go ahead and put this um, back into place. Drop it back down. Just make sure it, it's not on this side. Make sure that it, it goes on, on the outside of, of that bracket there on both sides. And now we're just gonna basically um, mm, yeah for that's for the for the blade height. If you after you can do a test cut and, and if it cuts through the whole stack of paper, you're good. You don't need to do anything else. 
But if it's not, you've got this. You got. You should have a, a tool. If not, you can get it. Uh, get one. I believe it's a. I think it's a six millimeter hex, and it just goes down into here. And you got to kind of fish for it a little bit. If you have trouble finding it, you can um, take this crown off, and you can find it easy. But um, if you can watch this blade, you can watch kind of distance between this clamp and that blade. I'm going to turn this clockwise as I'm looking down on it, and you can watch this as it drops. See how it's moving down? It's disappearing on that clamp. That's obviously too much because it usually should be a little bit above the clamp. But and I'll go back the other way counterclockwise and it'll raise it up. So obviously you just want to do like maybe a half a turn, take it out, and then see if it cuts the stack of paper. If, if it wasn't before, like I said, if it's already cutting through, it, you don't need to do too. You don't need to do it. But that's how you adjust the height of the of the blade. Okay, pretty simple. It's in your owner's manual as well. I'm gonna bring this back up because there is one other thing I'm gonna show you. Is um this two millimeter, two and a half millimeter hex here? On those three, I told you how to to get those to get those um nice and snug tight before you remove the blade. If you're if it's cutting through one side, not the other, or something like that, it would be this. This is the adjustment you need, and, and to do this, you need to when you tighten these, it pushes the blade down as well on one end or the other. If you if you if the whole you can also push the whole blade down. Another way to adjust it besides doing that, you can just use this to push the blade down. That's a different way to adjust it. Um, so basically what you're going to want to do, but you can't do it while these are tight, so you want to loosen these about about uh, half a turn each, maybe, and then try try to tighten it, see if, it'll, see if, it, if it's still too tight, it won't do it, so you may want to do about a turn, a full turn. But if you do too much, then the blade drops all the way down and you don't want that. So you want to do enough to where it keeps the blade kind of snug there, but it allows it, when you, when, you, when you tighten these, you can watch the blade be pushed down, so you can either do... If it's one side, you can do a little bit here and a little bit in the middle, but probably a little bit more on this side. If it's on this side, you're going to do this side and a little bit in the middle um, to drop the, to change the height of the blade. And then when you're done, you just re-snug all your blade screws. Remember, there is one behind here, so you before you do it, you would have to drop the blade down and get that one a little bit loose. So when you do loosen that one, you don't want to raise the blade back up because it will hit it. Again, I told you you don't want to hit that, so you could possibly you could just remove it if you need to and then loosen the rest again with that one it could go behind there so you might want to just remove it and then play with these center ones as far as the, uh, as far as loosen them like a half a turn to a turn each before you start twisting these and, and pushing down on the blade to push the blade down anyway that's for angles if you're if you're lower on one end not the other like it's cutting through all the way on this end but not on that end that's pretty much it i'll just put this back in place you put your side screws back in but your um, clear plastic um, shield and back back in place you, you should be good to go you can plug the cutter back in after you're done after you're done with this electronics compartment this video is published by mbkpinternational.com